I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> we got a huge delivery from James Lane. Who do these people think they are? There's a lot of me that like wants to stop. What is the ice block that that's so reminiscent of? They sent me the new Super Blasts. <laughs> I think it looks so good. Somebody get me gym equipment. <laughs> Good morning guys! Happy Thursday! Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I am currently surrounded by mini boxes. We are doing a bit of a lounge makeover. I'm very excited because since we kind of moved a lot of our old furniture to this place, I did kind of want to get some new pieces, namely a new TV unit because the one that we've got is just a little bit small for this wall because it's so long and I've been really really wanting a new couch just because I think a lighter couch will look so much nicer in here. We got a huge delivery this morning from James Lane. And I'm so excited because I've been waiting for this couch and these pieces for like two months, I think. Which is pretty good in the grand scheme of furniture because furniture can take a long time. You guys remember my dining table? <laughs> that took, was that six months? It was a long time. I've already put together the TV unit, put together. It was actually very, very easy to assemble. But how good? Wait, let me show you. I... I'm obsessed. This looks way better, especially against like the wood and stuff. I really, really love it. I think it looks much nicer. The other one's just out there at the moment. I'm obsessed. I think the proportions are just much better. There's also like empty boxes in here. I'm assuming that's to like support it in travel. I might even like leave them in there. But I love, I've seen this in store and I just think it looks so nice. But I'm so excited for just like a makeover. Hey Charles, I definitely need to get some uh, couch protectant, you know, the kind of protectant that you spray on. Stop eating things that you shouldn't eat. But yeah, right now it's just box city. And if you're wondering what I'm gonna do with this couch, my boyfriend's friends, they're actually moving into a new place and they offered to take the couch. But before I just get trigger happy and wanna assemble everything, cause I wanna like film some reels and make cute videos of it. I need to do some other work stuff first. It's so cold in this house right now. I just got in a very exciting package. As you can see, Naked Harvest have collabed with, oh my gosh, the Georgia Richards. This is so exciting because I've known Georgia and I follow Georgia for such a long time. I'm very excited to see her at the Naked Harvest event on the weekend because I haven't seen her in a very, very long time. So she said, Connor, I'm so happy to be sharing my collection with you. I hope it helps your running and recovery. Much love, G. I am so excited because creaming soda is one of the greatest flavors to ever grace this earth. As a kid, I freaking loved creaming soda anything. Creaming soda, stimulant free pre-workout. Even though I'm still sick and my sense of smell slash taste is a little bit weak at the moment. I can smell it, okay? Yesterday I couldn't smell anything, but today I'm getting I'm getting something. This collection's a pride collection as well, so it's all beautifully colorful. And that is what the packaging looks like. Authentically you, Georgia Richards. And then we've got a mango pine lime. And I actually Oh my god. And I actually haven't opened this yet. Wait, let me blow my nose. <laughs> the worst part about being sick is when you can't smell or taste anything. <sighs> I'm gonna just do a little a little taste test. Mmm, it's very, um, not, mm, it's a little bit sour. And then we also have the moon milk, which is chocolate malt flavor, which is supposed to be a like Malteser vibe. Okay. Oh, it kind of smells like Milo. Ooh, yum. That's good. All right, I'm gonna do the creaming soda first. Pretty, it's pretty creamy soda. It's not overly sweet, but it definitely has that iconic creaming soda taste. Okay, let me try mango pine lime. I like the color combo of like the yellow and the pink. This one I feel like actually might be the underdog because it is giving a little bit sour. This one smells much more, like I can smell that. <laughs> what is that? Wait, that reminds me, wait. That reminds me of like an icy pole. That flavor, what is the ice block that that's so reminiscent of? This actually might be my favorite. And I love creaming soda. I think this one's just a little bit sweeter. This one also does have caffeine in it. It reminds me of like a Calippo or something. Do you remember those ice blocks? Fruity, summery, ice block flavor. That actually might be my favorite. I'm just heating up some milk because sometimes when you pour cold milk into the moon milk, it'll make it not hot anymore. Oh yeah. <laughs> pour the milk in. 
See if I can smell it. It smells exactly like you'd think chocolate malt. You should try it because this tastes like like a childhood ice block. Oh, like, yeah. It's like mango, pine, lime flavor. But like, smell it. If you taste it, it honestly, you should try it because I can't pinpoint the ice block that it tastes like. No, you have to have it in water. That is phenomenal. That is the best moon milk flavor by far. Georgia, a round of applause. That is so good. Wow. Tell me it doesn't remind you of like an icy pole. It tastes like, like a calippo. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Or like a summer fruits or whatever the heck it's called. Like yeah, an yeah, ice yeah. pole. Icy pole. I like that. It's nice, eh? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I could drink that. It's yeah. not like, you know, in the morning when you want to drink pre workout, but you're not in the mood for like this. Yeah, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look yeah. At you, like, you know. <laughs> it's like Maltese or like it almost tastes like Milo. Is this coffee? No, it's, oh. like a, it's like a moon milk, they call it. It's called a what? A moon milk. They call it moon milk. You can have it before bed and it helps you get to sleep. This is? Yeah. And it tastes like Maltesers. Yeah. And I can drink it before I go to bed. Yeah. And it helps me go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, yeah, it's got magnesium and stuff in it. That's right up my alley. Yeah. Chocolate and help well, me get to sleep. Well, this is the flavor that Georgia has collabed with Naked Harvest on. And it's called Moon Milk, obviously, because it helps you. Yeah. That's, someone gets it. Wait, let That's me just. That's my favorite one. They have, because they have heaps of different flavors. <laughs> I can drink this before bed and it's good. I like that. I've definitely told you about Moon Milk before. Fine, we'll have this every night. <laughs> it's like a hot chocolate. Should I just have this? <laughs> Should I just have this? I'll keep this, eh? <laughs> just uh, just for taste testing purposes. Is this recording? Yeah. I know what you, do you know what it reminds me of? Um, it's like a distinct icy pole. Nah, do you know what I'm thinking of? I don't know if they have those in Australia. It's like wine tasting where they're like. <laughs> <laughs> and do this. And they do that like, <laughs> where they like. Okay, it's not mouthful. Is this from New Zealand? <laughs> no, do you know what that reminds me of? I don't know if you had them, but you know the things and they like, they're thin at the bottom and thick at the top and you like push them out? A calippo! Wait, yeah, and it's like a triangle? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah triangle, yeah, yeah, Okay, go, go look at it. Yeah. I'm thinking of like, um, yeah, 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 they we are thinking of the, the same thing, but I'm thinking of like... knees. I don't when know I was why the word Fuji is. <laughs> Is coming to my head. You probably had the New Zealand equivalent. Mm. Mm. Right? The fact that I can drink chocolate before bed and it helps me with my sleep because I would drink chocolate before going to sleep if it was going to affect it <laughs> negatively. That's how much I love chocolate. So, you know what's funny? Who do these people think they are just coming out with three bang on flavors like this? I was, one, I was never really a Naked no, Harvest person, but now. One thing about Naked Harvest is they like nail the flavors every time. Every time. Taste. Oh, I got the tingle. <laughs> you had like one little drop? Yeah. Um, <laughs> one little drop. I'm freaking buzzing. <laughs> Somebody get me gym equipment. <laughs> Taste, I will give it, honestly, let me it's just. Good. That's the best. Excuse me, ma'am. This is my review, please. Just give me a second. No, that's the best meatball. Flip of a coin between eight and nine out of 10. But the fact that this helps me get to sleep and it's chocolate, I might just give it a straight bump to 10. I hope you enjoyed our little taste test of the Naked Harvest and Georgia Richards collab. Everything is live. So if you guys want to shop, I will leave links down below and you can use the code Connor15. That'll get you a little discount. I'm thoroughly impressed. I love everything. Oh my god, good morning, hello. Happy, it's Friday today. I have received one of the most exciting packages ever. Oh my gosh. Um, let me just check I don't have freaking snot on my face. We are gonna attempt to go for my first run back. I'm not 100%. And ideally, for my health wise, I wouldn't be running. Well, my body feels fine. I just sound like this and I have a really runny nose and a little bit of a sore throat. So, should I be running for my health? You know, probably not. I've got a marathon to run and I, I'm already very, very behind concerningly. However, look what I got in the mail from Asics. <laughs> they sent me the new Super Blasts. I'm so excited. I said on my Instagram story like, 
I really want to get the Super Blast too, but I'm not a fan of the colorway. I'll eat my words because in real life, I feel like it looks way cooler. Like, can you see? This part is like super, super fluoro and I feel like online it looked a little bit more dull and this looked more gray, but I would describe this as more pale blue. It's really not coming off on camera. It looks way cool in real life and I'm like holy shit I'm so excited. I think the Super Blast is just my favorite shoe. I really need to get my boyfriend a pair because they're just the comfiest shoe. I feel like I'm gonna die with the Super Blast. Like they're just my favorite and I'm so excited to wear them. And they are the right size. <laughs> Thank God. Thank you so much Asics. I love these. If you were like me and you weren't sure about the color, obviously I'm sure they're gonna come out with more colorways and watch me want those as well. But th they look way cooler in real life. Definitely like have a look at them in store. Oh my God. Sports Medicine Australia recommended. I'm so excited. In terms of the differences, I think there aren't a heap because everyone loves the Super Blast. So like why, why fix something that's not broken? But I believe this is a little bit more breathable. The bottom of it is a little bit different. So you're not going to get rocks stuck in it as much. But I'm so excited. We're going to go for an easy run this morning. I'm going to wear my Coros again. I'm going to give it a go. Someone commented that sometimes the pod can be causing issues in terms of the pacing because it needs to be like calibrated a little bit more. So I'm going to give it a go. If it's really off again, I might wear like my Garmin and my Coros and see what happens. Oh my gosh. And let me show you the lounge room. I'm obsessed. I'm in love. I think this looks so much nicer. The whole vibe, we're trying to train Charlie to not go on the couch because it's beautiful. Oh my God. I love it so much. I love the TV unit. The lamp is really pretty. It's on an angle a little bit. I need to like fix that. But how pretty! It has just made me love this house so much more. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but like furniture holds memories. And I feel like I'm in a completely different house because most of it is gone. A couch is such a, I don't know how to explain it. Like you know what I mean? And it is so comfy. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It brightens up the space a lot as well because it is a little bit dark in the living space, but I think having like a really nice bright couch and the white coffee table, I love it. I think it looks so much prettier, honestly. Like <laughs> it just does. Like there's, you cannot be like a really nice bright couch. Please comment down below if you have any recommendations for like a Scotch guard or, you know, just ways to take care of the couch because Obviously, it probably will be a little bit challenging, but I think it's worth it. I, my nose is like getting blocked up. I think it's stunning. It's so, so pretty. This is the cloud couch. I'll leave links down below for the James Lane stuff because I just, no child, I'm sorry, but you can't go on this one. <laughs> she came in this morning and like sat on my chest at 5.30 to say, wake up, please. To say, wake up, please. I love it. I think it looks so pretty. I really want to get some like colorful coffee table books just to add some color, maybe some colorful cushions, like some, I don't know, I, I love it. I think it looks so good. And everything was really easy to put together. The couch was definitely the most time consuming purely just by like unwrapping everything. So the couch cushions also covers come off as well. So it's like all removable and stuff, which is cool. It also makes the carpet look really bright as well, which I love. Mummy's got to go for a run, hey? People say, why don't you take Charlie for a run? Charlie gets way too excited when I start running when she's on the lead. She just doesn't know what to do with herself and she'll start biting the lead and just start jumping up and down because she just, it's like she has too many emotions that she just doesn't know what to do with them. <laughs> she gets her own WALKs, guys, don't worry. Yes, you do. And you love them because you're such a good girl. You're such a good bean. And I loved my other couch. It was super comfy and I it was great. But this just feels so feminine in a way. I don't know how to explain it, but I just think it looks great. But now there's like a mountain of recycling that I need to get rid of. So that's that's a later job. Stars shining, but I linger on dear. This is how I'm doing my hair. I'm testing it out. Because there's so many layers in my hair, they just kind of like fall out of the plait, so. But now it just was like one like. 
road. Okay, good morning. I'm feeling a little bit anxious because I'm by myself. It's always a little bit nerve-wracking going to things by yourself, but I'm sure that there'll be plenty of people here. Let me just do one last blow of the nose. All right, let's go inside, shall we? here to celebrate such an exciting moment. George has been a creator that we've worked with for a number of years. If you haven't seen her YouTube video, it made all of us really emotional to see her journey with Naked Harvest, which has ultimately led to this beautiful collaboration. To kick off this morning's event, I would love to introduce the woman herself. <laughs> And Winston, of course. <laughs> I don't think I've done the speech since high school, so you're just going to have to bear with me. Of course, a huge thank you to Nigga Harvest. Thank you for replying to my email begging me to work with you back in 2020. <laughs> They're amazing. So thank you so much, guys. We are just going to do a bit of a meditation. Put this inside so we've got them nice and red. Well, I failed. I did eight kilometers. Right before I finished, I like sat down because I was mentally not, I was not in a good space. I wish I could put this camera up, like sit it on something in the car. I really wish I wasn't so hung up on pacing. However, the fact that it's such a drastic difference to what I'm used to is what is kind of scaring me a little bit. And I'm like, is it me? Is it a technological issue? Obviously, I'm probably not at my peak fitness, but for it to tell me that I'm running 7 minutes 40 pace when I feel like I'm not is the thing that's, like, confusing me because when I started running, I basically started running at that pace. And I know I was trying to go slow. I My confidence is definitely quite low. So far, so good. I'm trying not to just think about everything too much. <sighs> we just hit eight. Pace is okay. It's definitely slow. Oh, I'm at 15K. I just stopped to do a wee. Um, oddly enough, haven't needed to do a poo. So. My goodness, but I'm just having a little break because I'm like just under halfway, I guess, <sighs> just to gather myself because this is hard. There's a lot of me that like wants to stop. Um, I should get going in a second because otherwise I'm gonna not be able to actually finish this, but oof, I think I'm actually not too bad. I think just the concept and the idea that I've still got more than basically 20k to go is not comforting so ah but it's fine it's fine we keep just one step in front of the other my pace is sitting around seven minutes which is fine it's just that my heart rate is like really high but i'm 
assuming it's because I can't like breathe through my nose very well because it's like blocked I'm continually having to stop and blow my nose because I can't really blow it while I run because that just makes me so out of breath <sighs> but it's we move on average pace 701 Don't mind my hair. I need to wash it actually. I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> well, clearly my body is pushing back. I'm pretty sure I was running for almost, granted I was, I did stop quite often. Like I definitely stopped like five times, I would say towards the end for like a minute or so. But I was running for three hours and I only did 22K, which I'm not trying to say that like, if you run that, like that's a bad thing. Like, just relative to what I have done in the past, that is wild. Let me just backtrack a little bit because on Sunday, I was talking in the car for a little bit, but then, I got cut off. I didn't end up finishing what I was talking about, but I just wasn't feeling it. My pace was really slow. It was like 7.30 plus. I just felt really sluggish. And yeah, I hit 8K and I was like, I don't think I can take 34Ks of this. So I gave up. In hindsight, I probably could have pushed a little bit further, but I think I ultimately would have not been able to make it. It's all right. I'm behind, but I'll just try again. So try again, you know, Tuesday. I ended up doing 22, which is far but relative again to what I was I'm supposed to do I wasn't even close I'm obviously going wrong somewhere whenever I do my next marathon hint hint <laughs> I love how I'm like when I do my next one I doesn't even know if I can actually do the first one I will look at so much more than just the training aspect because I'm obviously going wrong with nutrition fueling a lot of other things that I think are really important in a marathon that sometimes get overlooked and I just felt very incapable today my body felt like I really couldn't do it and I haven't felt that in any of my long runs like I've done a 30k yeah it was hard but never in my mind did it did Never did it cross my mind. Mm, don't know if I can finish it. Like I always knew in the back of my mind I would finish them. According to Strava, my half marathon was two hours, 46 minutes, which is an average pace of 7.54. My half marathon that I ran last year was two, like two hours, 15 minutes. <laughs> and I have run a sub two hour half marathon before. So clearly my body is not gelling. I feel like I'm not doing enough and I feel like I need a rest. And so my, I'm just caught in the middle and I'm like, yeah, I'm obviously going to take a breather. I feel like I, I need to go to the gym. I haven't been to the gym since before I went to New Zealand. I need to make sure I'm keeping up with that. Put the long run on the back burner. I'm trying to not let it affect me because I'm like, in my brain, I'm like, if I can't get the 34K done, I'm not going to be able to do the marathon. And I need that to not be an option in my brain. And I don't like saying that because it makes it sound like I don't have any uh, perseverance. I will fight blood, sweat and tears to do this marathon. Even if I do it, and I don't finish, which is kind of like my worst fear. Yeah, I think I just feel a little bit embarrassed as well. And I know I shouldn't, but I just think like I shouldn't be doing this, but, and I should take my own advice. Training for a marathon is freaking hard. People make it look so easy on social media. Like, oh, I'm just going for a 20 mile run. On the bright side from that, what we can uh, take away from it is I had basically three hours of time on feet, which is good. And I didn't do a poo. That's what we can take away from that. Um, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I just want to start fresh get rid of this negative energy I'm so sorry that my last couple vlogs have been present with me being sad and moping about my running But this is the reality of the training for a marathon And I know a lot of you that I meet in real life say how much you love the running content and the marathon training content So yeah, it's not all rainbows and unicorns Ugh. And I'm also very sore like clearly I just something's up something is up I've had like five crumpets today. I really do next time want to work with a nutritionist because I feel like that is probably where I'm going wrong because what else would it be? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a big like, which I have never said in my life. Don't know why, um, but it does really help with YouTube and the algorithm and stuff like that. So, and yeah, I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and I will see you in the next one. Say bye. Say thanks for watching guys.